but because they have no idea where the Philippines is. They have no idea what Filipinos are. And then, but I also have, uh, you know, memories of people pulling my, my identity in the direction of being, you know, Chinese. So when kids wanted to be mean <laughs> to me, then this is something I've been, I think, talking a lot about uh, recently in the last few years. You know, in, in the work that I did with the Commission on Human Rights, we did a lot of work addressing anti-Asian hate and bias, and we did also a lot of work in schools and with youth. And I would recall times in my youth where, you know, when children wanted to be mean to me, they wouldn't call me a jerk. They wouldn't call me a lot of the things that they would call the other children. They would call me things like ching chong. Or they would, you know, pull their, their uh, eyes at the corners uh, to try to make fun of me and, you know, suggest that I have slanty eyes or, or, or something like that. Um, one of my, one of the, the memories I think now about from childhood that I can laugh about now is my mother, like many other uh, immigrant moms, <laughs> of, you know, of her generation, was also, you know, very frugal. And part of it was, I remember she came home and said, I bought you a new lunchbox. She was so happy she bought me a new lunchbox. And it was a lunchbox on sale, one of those tin lunchboxes that you, you know, when in the 1970s a lot of kids had. And this on sale lunchbox was Hong Kong Fui, which at that time was basically a, a dog that performed martial arts. And his name was Hong Kong Fui. And I remember my mom felt so good about the fact that she had bought me this new lunchbox. But I remember the dread I felt about bringing it into school and thinking, great, this is just going to contribute to some of the teasing that I got at school. It's like such a potent memory for me. Um, but that's how, I mean, that's, if you look at the New Jersey of the 1970s versus the New Jersey of now, you just wouldn't recognize it. It was just incredibly different. Um, and I think my, my parents, the way that they approached it was, to say, you know, we have to educate people. They, they don't know who we are, and we just have to educate them on who we are. 